Hello everybody, just doing uh, some reviews for my tank, uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while and I just posted one up for the uh, new WP10 Wavemaker, so if you look at other posts by me you can see a review on that. The next review I'm going to do, which is something I installed a couple months ago and I should have reviewed a while ago, is I put a do-it-yourself, well, kind of do-it-yourself, a rapid LED kit. This is a BioCube 29, Oceanic BioCube 29, and I was really wanting to get a better lighting system um, than the stock one, mainly for, you know, just, well, actually, I saw a tank at the local fish store, and they had the LEDs, and it's just the colors and everything you get is amazing. So right off the bat, I wanted one. And there's other advantages such as the, just how everything, the colors that come out, um, algae growth, stuff like that. Everything's just a little bit better. So if you're looking at the rapid LED kits, this is what mine looks like. I did not go for the, you know, kit where they recommend just getting like half I think it was half cool whites and half royal blues and that's it. I went for a, a full spectrum mixture. I got some cool whites, neutral or natural whites, warm whites. I got royal blues, blues, UV, uh, everything. I'll try to show you. It might be, I wonder if the camera will pick it up. Oh, no, camera won't pick it up. But uh, you can kind of see there's different colors. You can kind of see there's the white and a royal blue and then the blue on the left is slightly different. So it might be hard to see, but uh, trust me, believe me, they're there. <laughs> uh, if you can see the different colors in the bottom, you can actually see that the blues, you know, the blues and the whites make different reflections on the bottom. Uh, so I love it. I think the mixture is perfect. Uh, I will post in the comments my exact combination of LEDs because that took me a while to figure out exactly what I was going to do. And um, and after going back and forth with the guys at Rapid, you know, of what the best mixture would be, and this seemed like the best, I decided not to go for any green or reds. Um, I know some, you know, some kits have that in it. From what I read, they're not as used, and if anything, they promote certain algae growth, and they might help, you know, if you're big into, like, SPS corals and stuff, maybe having those is good for some of them. I'm not sure. I'm not really big into that. I have a lot of softies and uh, LPS corals, so didn't really need that. But look into it, if that's what you're going to be growing. Anyways, um, the kit was kind of... It was easy to install, but... Maybe not. I don't know. I'm a mechanic by trade, and it took me a couple days to do it. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to just work on it, like all day. If you have like an entire day to do it, and you know what you're doing, you have a multimeter, you have soldering iron, you got all your own stuff. You should be able to get done in a day, no problem. Um, if you just sit down and, and do it, I spent the extra time and try to get the hood. Uh, well built and you know functioning properly. I made it so that the switches um, Actually work I wired them in for that so I can turn off the lights and actually with the lights off I can probably show you what it looks like underneath. So once I actually lift this There we go You might be able to see kind of what the kit looks like so those white ones there are UV, and then they're all kind of, I got them all wired in there, soldered in. I got the kit that I had to solder it in. Um, I didn't get the kit where it just plugs in. If you're not comfortable soldering, you can spend a bit more money and get that kit. It's basically just plug and play. Well, kind of plug and play. Maybe just the LEDs are plug and play. You don't have to solder. These ones, I soldered each individual LED on there. So that's you know it's slightly cheaper and I wasn't too worried about it so it takes a bit more time that's probably one thing that took quite a bit more time um, I took one of the metal shields off and made my own reflector and glued it on there so instead of buying a reflector and yeah like I showed you that uh, I actually wired it in so that the switches still work the fans are the new the 
upgraded fans are in there. They're quiet, move quite a bit more air than the stock fans. They're bigger. You have to modify the hood quite a bit to fit all these uh, new things in, like the heat sink and everything. But like I said, if, if you are comfortable with this kind of stuff, then you won't have a problem. Here you can see the controllers. Hopefully you can see that. It's probably dark. I should probably grab a flashlight. In fact, I think I have a flashlight under my cabinet, and I do. So I'll grab that. My apologies, I should have had that out before. And let me just grab this. So you can see I have the controllers bolted on the side of the tank. I made my own dimmer. Get a dimmer. Buy the one from Rapid LED. I didn't buy the one. I didn't know I needed a dimmer if you get the dimmable uh, drivers. And I found out when it got here and I go to wire it in and it said wire in your dimmer. Didn't have one so I had to go to electronic store and make my own. Um, and so yeah, if you get the dimmable controllers, you have to get the dimmer. So remember that. Unless you have something like an Apex or something, um, but I don't. I wired everything in with connectors so that I could unplug it all easily. These connectors right there were the ones for the fans, which I didn't use. They suck. Don't use them if you can. You move one, uh, like this one here, if I if I touch it a little too much, you can, you can see the lights flickering on and off. So I have bought new connectors to wire in once I have well, I've had time. Once I actually uh, <laughs> do it, I have all the time in the world and I'm just being lazy. So I just need to actually sit down and do it. One day I will, hopefully soon. But yeah, and I can show you, you can see from the tank with the dimmers, the dimmable drivers, they're great. Um, I'm just gonna let my camera focus. Hopefully it focuses soon, there we go. And you'll see, I will start adjusting. So this is the blue I am adjusting. So now the blue is pretty much off. There you go. So now the blue is all the way off. And you turn it on and you can just keep bringing it up and bringing it up and bringing it up until you get it to the point that you like it. Now that's full, 100%. And uh, then same thing with the white. I can turn it down turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, and now that's the white off. And I don't know how well it's going to show on this camera, but with the blues, unfortunately the camera just doesn't really pick up the colors. Um, it's all on my phone, so, but in real life, <laughs> if you were here, the greens and the reds just pop just pop there it's quite impressive how well this works and uh, yeah once I get that dimmer bring the white back up uh, I don't have the, I like having the white a little bit lower get a bit more of the blue in the in the color so that's like full white or well full white and blue and I have the blue on 100%. I have the white on probably about 75%. And I, I, I just like kind of the look of that. Kind of that bluey tinge. And uh, yeah, I think it looks great. It's a great kit. Not too expensive. Not too difficult to put in. Way better than the stock lighting. Love the controllability. One day I'm gonna get a controller for the lights where you can dim it in and out, so for like sunrise and sunset. You can buy dimmers, um, not like the Apex ones, but just a specific light dimmer. I think they're like $100 or $120. You program it, install it, and it basically just has a timer. And I believe those have light sensors that will actually you know, go with the daylight and stuff like that. One day I'll get that. Right now I just have it on a regular timer, you know, like the ones you get at Home Depot or whatever. Uh, they work, you know. I, I really think having the dimming ones is 
a good upgrade, especially when, you know, you see your fish and the lights turn off and the fish scatter and, you know, it's, it's probably not very pleasant. I can only imagine. I can just imagine myself being in a situation, <laughs> you know, being, you know, bright daylight and all of a sudden, bam, all the, you know, lights turn off and you don't know what's going on. So I think the dimmers are definitely a good upgrade. That will be the next thing I get. Uh, but right now, you know, it, what works works and this is working great. So if you're thinking about getting the rapid LED kit, I really recommend it. Uh, they were great to deal with. They answered all my questions by email instantly within like a couple hours, I swear. It was so fast. They were great. Uh, I forget the name of the guy I was dealing with, but I think I dealt with a couple guys there and they answered all my questions. They shipped it quickly. It was right around uh, Christmas and they're, you know, they had big sales going on. And yeah, they were super fast, super fast shipping, well packaged, everything was the way it was. Nothing was wrong in the kit. The only thing, like I said, was I didn't know that with the dimmer drivers, you have to get a dimmer. If you, especially if you don't have a dimming module, you have to get that manual dimmer. So it would have been nice to know that, but what you gonna do? Anyways, if uh, you're thinking about getting the LED kits, seriously think about the rapid kits. They're perfect, in my opinion. Nothing wrong, works great. You can just go get one you will not be disappointed.